a, a show called Longmire, where I played uh, just the evilest guy in the world. Thank you, Lou Phillips, Lou Diamond Phillips. He bugged the producers. He said, you gotta get Graham Greene on the show. You gotta get him on the show. So in the fourth season, third, third of, yeah, the other, I guess the third or fourth season, I got a call and said, Longmire would like to offer you a job. I said, what is it? Playing this guy, he's a, he's a bad guy. And I said, oh, goody. <laughs> Can I see the script? Yeah, we'll send it to you. So I popped it in the email and I read it and I said, I'm in. Well, don't you know? I said, I don't care. Look at it. It's funny. It's hell, it's great. So I went down there and I met with the three producers and Greer John and, and the and the, we, we talked about it and they said, yeah, we, we looked at over a hundred of your uh, projects and we came up with this character of Malachi Strand, who is a crooked cop. He ended up in prison and he got out and became a bodyguard for a crooked casino. Wait a minute, they looked at a hundred of your, of your other shows? Yeah. And said, oh, there's Graham and that, and Graham and that, and Graham and that. Oh, let's pull him and make him do this kind of character. Yeah. I do. never heard of that. That's very neat. Is that is that not the great compliment? That is a great compliment, considering that the role. I said, why don't you hire a guy like Lou Diamond Phillips for this role? This was back, I don't know, three or four years before Longmire even started. Right. They were putting it together, and I had, I was sicker than a dog, and I went and did a one of these stupid recordings where. You rent and somebody reads and you sit there in a chair and you go, nah, 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 and you do your scene and they send it off. And I guess I didn't do a good job. And at the end I said, why don't you hire Lou Diamond Phillips for this? I'm not right for it. And walked away. Then they, they hired Lou Diamond as the bartender. And eventually I went back and I did Longmire and finished out the seasons, the three seasons that were left, or three or four, I can't remember. Yeah, yeah, four seasons that were left. And, uh, and because I was talking about demographics, uh, this company had it. And they said, well, you don't fit our demographic anymore. We're going to kill you. I said, what, what demographic is that? And, oh, we, uh, well, we, we're catering to the, you know, the, the, the 20 to 26 year old limit. And you guys are you're all over 26. And I said, yeah, but who's got the money? Who buys all this stuff? There's guys like you. And I said, you're catering to these punks? You don't cater to uh, people our age who really love the series? Well, this is what we're told, so you have to do that. They have to do what they're told, so they, they shit Candace. And uh, the producer said, no, we're not going to let it die. So they went to Netflix, and Netflix picked it up. And the older we got, the less we fit into their demographic. So they just killed it after six years. We went into syndication, so it's gone. Another, another series called Defiance I did here in Toronto. It's the first time I worked in Toronto in years. And uh, after they killed me in the third season, and when the, I said to the director, I, they sent me a paper, they sent me a, a pre, like a prenup, prenuptial I call it, but it was a pre-agreement where you sign and you get this much money to be in the next season. Okay, I'll do that. Knowing it's, it's a bit of a rug with that. I could pull it out from under you whenever they want without any recourse to them because I signed it. But that prenup is to guarantee them your services if they go. Yeah, and in the first episode of the third season, they killed me off. And uh, I said to the showrunner, and I said, your ratings are going to go way down. You killed my whole family. And this, your ratings are going to drop like a stone. You watch. <laughs> I said, not because I'm me, but because they had left it between that and the aliens. There was no family group. And sure enough, the ratings went right into the toilet and they just ended up ending the thing. And they said, oh, no, it wasn't that. It was, uh, it was too expensive to make. And I said, oh, bull butter. 
Yeah, uh, we were we were pretty high rated. The show was rated high. Right. We had like uh, <laughs> four four million viewers uh, an episode. Then the third year, I just watched it go down, 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 to way below a million, and it went away. That's how fast they can just kill somebody off. Huh? So if you want your series to fail, hire me. <laughs> I can kill it in no time.